Hey guys, this is Hetu and welcome or welcome back to ETL Give Labs. So guys, sorry, uh, I was away for almost uh, two months now. Yes, almost two months. And uh, I had certain personal commitment that I had to fulfill and now I am back. So uh, I have come up uh, with uh, some thought process guys today. And uh, that is something related to the next chapter that we are going to start uh, learning, right? And I uh, sincerely need uh, your uh, input on this so that, you know, we can uh, benefit, uh, uh, bec we all can benefit and uh, it can be useful, right? So let me, um, let me, you know, put through my thought process what I am actually observing nowadays uh, as far as the industry uh, you know trend is concerned so over the last couple of months uh, I have been observing that you know the expectation for the from the uh, from the ETL tester or even I would say from the testing uh, professional right so the expectation is kind of a full stack testing right that's what I have uh, I am noticing and uh, obviously it's not applicable uh, to everywhere but then that is expectation right so obviously you can't uh, you know find one person you know uh, expert into etl testing database data warehouse testing and at the same time you find the person to be very good at automation framework designing mobile testing or uh, you know uh, different different type of testing right performance testing for example right we we uh, so uh, previously i mean uh, uh, what used to happen is, I mean, uh, even even now, I think there used to be a separate team, uh, right, in the testing itself. So there used to be a separate test, separate team for the manual testing. There was a, I mean, that is the functional testing, and then we used to have a separate team for uh, UI automation testing or web automation testing, separate team for performance testing, security testing, non-functional testing, all those testing, right? But uh, slowly what is happening is uh, there was a concept of full stack developer, right? That is from the development side. And that is the similar kind of fashion that people are expecting from the testing side as well, right? So that is uh, that kind of trend actually I am uh, noticing, right? So that's what my thought process. I think you guys also might have observed, right? Like this is, um, I mean, uh, if you are you know attending the interviews etc I'm sure that you might be facing some kind of you know uh, questions which is not related to ETL testing they might be expecting you to know certain amount of uh, automation testing wave automation etc right so this is uh, something that we need to think about it and uh, we also need to accommodate and and keep learning ourselves to be better employed uh, to have better employability right so that is the reason i think we need to upgrade ourselves uh, i'm not saying that you know etl test uh, etl testing is not sufficient i think obviously it is right now uh, but uh, we also need to keep ourselves updated for the future demand right and so that you know you can be you can always be uh, employed right employable that's what right the concept is right so we also need to go and change ourselves based on industry's expectation right that's where uh, the whole uh, whole thing right that's the whole point about this discussion right so what i have covered so far is it covers everything about etl testing it covers database it also covers Linux it covers data warehousing concepts obviously you are if you uh, if you are already you know able to learn everything whatever I have taught I think you already uh, you will already be able to get a good job in good company I'm 100% sure and uh, another thing is uh, be so as your experience grows right so you 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 um, you are let's say four five six seven years of experience right and then uh, after that we also need to add uh, our skills right add up uh, in our uh, overall skill set and uh, 
and many people have asked me like you know they are not getting calls for the ETL testing and, and uh, now also some people are uh, you know facing some challenges because like I think um, it is good uh, right now the job market is good for ETL tester but I will not say it's great right because of uh, because obviously the time right so we are already in uh, July uh, September, uh, August right now and we are toward uh, end of the year I think we are heading toward end of the year I think uh, this job market will be like it will not be very great like how it was at the beginning of the year right so but obviously uh, there is always uh, a steady demand in the market but then uh, so uh, there are two aspects of it right what I'm going to discuss here is uh, we have to continuously improve ourselves and add up the skill sets right based on market need right so now let's say you are already ETL QA engineer all right and uh, wherein you already know SQL you already know Linux you already know data warehousing right and then you know ETL testing data warehousing concepts right and you already know testing ETL testing how we do etc and this will probably this will okay this is the ETL testing and obviously you know the testing right that's that's the core of every QA activity right so on top of this if you already know this it is very good good profile and uh, good for the market but as let's say your experience grows like 5 plus okay 5 plus then what you need to do is we you also need to add up some skills related to automation okay so when I talk about automation test automation so test automation basically uh, there are various different places that's where you can do the test automation right so in my uh, so we also learned Python I guess okay and that's where I uh, explained you pandas how to do automation of you know your uh, files etc using the pandas etc right so all those things we have covered here so that's basically this part comes under test automation okay and that's where if you have the ETL processes running and the and you have the files to test right and then you can do certain bit of test automation right so other than this ETL testing there are systems right wherein we have the web based systems so web based uh, applications right and then we have mobile based application and then you also might be having API uh, or web services right alright guys so these are the other areas that's where we can do the automation alright and you might have observed in some of your interviews that people have started asking do you know any automation tool uh, do you have any exposure working into test automation right so those short of questions right and uh, and those uh, kind of questions I think it's not very um, very generic for ETL tester or ETL QA engineer because uh, we normally do very limited automation in the ETL testing because of uh, the nature of uh, the systems and uh, you know the complexity uh, how we basically entire entire ETL framework it is done right so there are uh, there are a lot of complexity and that's where I think uh, it's very difficult to automate the ETL processes or ETL testing right uh, but when it comes to test automation I think these are the areas that we need to think ourselves and we need to keep uh, at least at least some uh, uh, good amount of knowledge I think is important right as your experience grows and people start expecting you to know all this because let's say you are working as a ETL tester all of a sudden there is uh, some work that come uh, for a web testing right and uh, web testing I think you should be able to do it when it is uh, for example manual or the functional testing right but uh, if there is need of doing certain automation then I think it's uh, a bit difficult if you have not learned right so that's where the whole focus of this session is 
so i would like to cover so for example for web web automation i think one of the most popular tool is selenium right selenium web driver right so this is the tool and then if you are using if you have the mobile uh, applications uh, you know to automate then apm is one of the tool that uh, we normally use and then for api i think we have rest assured all right rest assured uh, right we use this uh, jars right uh, apis to automate this apis right this is again api which is used to automate this um, web services right so guys uh, these are some little d d uh, details but uh, to my understanding i think um, test automation and uh, etl uh, etl qa right it's it's uh, completely different but then um, you know people also expect you to know certain automation and uh, i'll tell you if you can learn selenium web driver i think uh, that will be enough uh, for now yeah uh, obviously i think we have to keep updating ourselves but then for now i think if you learn selenium um, with java because java is one of the most popular language and uh, you will find uh, a lot of uh, people working on to selenium with java right uh, rather than uh, you know uh, working on any other language like selenium with python or uh, c sharp etc there are there are so many people who are working uh, i mean more and more people working into selenium with java so i would say that uh, if you learn selenium with java and if you don't learn about apm or you don't learn much about api rest assured etc i think we are we are okay i think okay uh, this is from the automation point of view so uh, what i'm thinking is uh, this is essential for your etl qa uh, profile okay you should definitely learn this all right and uh, then plus if you have like five plus of years of experience etc or maybe sometime even they are asking like three plus also people they are expecting you to know all right at least basic you know uh, basic um, uh, understanding about selenium how it works and then uh, how you can write some of the codes etc so and so that is important all right so they might expect it so i'm thinking is uh, let's cover this particular part okay as uh, next learning uh, exercise for us and i think this will take a significantly good amount of time okay so selenium web based application to automate web based applications we need uh, a web based i would say only browser guys right browser this will not automate your desktop based application okay so this is only web based driver uh, browser based selenium web driver with java okay so i am thinking that i should basically cover this selenium with java okay and i think it will um, so what my plan is uh, basically i'll start with java okay because uh, wherever you go for interview right if you say that you know about selenium they will not even ask you selenium first they will actually ask you uh, java all right you can say selenium with java then they will jump directly on java and they will ask you the you know uh, logic about programs etc right so it's very important that you understand and you you at least basic basic uh, you know uh, programming logic you should be if you should be comfortable enough right so we will learn java and then we will learn selenium after that okay because java is the base basically we need to uh, learn for java as a base and then on top of that we will it will be very easy for us to learn selenium on top of it right so don't worry guys i think uh, this uh, entire session is going to be lengthy right uh, i mean not session i would say this entire uh, um playlist or entire series i would say right it's going to be lengthy and believe me i think uh, this is the trend right now so they also need to uh, you we also need to learn this right and uh, 
this is something that you are actually building your skill and this is not something that it will um, go away right because you are learning a very powerful language uh, Java uh, and then selenium on top of it and this is much needed I think this is this is popular since almost uh, 10 years 10 15 years I guess, 10 12 years I think the people who are working into test automation I think uh, if you say test automation they expect you to know selenium uh, okay so this is how it is and that's the reason I thought I will cover this okay so if they are expecting you any automation tool I think automation tool if you know uh, then you are covered at least if you learn this right so I'll plan some uh, you know uh, details basically and I'll take you step by step and I assume that uh, uh, you don't know much about Java so I'll take you from the installation uh, basic from installation how to install Java and then uh, how to set up your uh, you know uh, ID that we will we will use e Eclipse right and then uh, we will learn couple of sessions about learning the Java and then object oriented features we will see the practical demonstration all mostly right so we will uh, try to go detail in detail and then once you are comfortable with that uh, you know we will start selenium okay so that's what my thought process guys and uh, but I obviously need your feedback also whether what my observation for uh, the industry currently is it okay or do you feel something different I really need your inputs <coughs> because I think we are almost uh, 7k right now uh, this is very very great news guys I think uh, we are growing at a much rapid speed uh, with regards to our uh, you know ETL QA family uh, so that's the that's good news uh, and I really uh, need your support to you know decide on this topic guys as soon as possible so I can start the session and then we can start learning about it right and don't worry if you don't know anything about Java that should be completely all right okay and you don't know anything about selenium that is also all right okay so I'll take you from very basic okay uh, and then I'll take you step by step okay I think uh, you already might have followed uh, my rest of the series and uh, you might have uh, noticed that how you know I take you very smoothly from one to other step right you will not even um, feel that you are you're learning something it it's uh, it will be fun guys okay so yeah I will wait for your comment and uh, also any other uh, suggestions right and then uh, you know we'll start this and uh, that's all guys and uh, uh, for this video and sorry again uh, for my long break and uh, yes uh, I'll see you soon with the next video and uh, also you know probably we will start the series once you I receive your feedback and uh, how many people are interested to learn and how many people really think that this is important uh, you know to learn something add on something on their top of their skill sets right so that's all for this video until then happy learning God bless you and bye